Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be super awesome because I have something exciting to show you all. A few days ago I posted a poll on my YouTube community that I wanted to buy a new bike for city riding you know. I already have my Busa and Harley but I wanted something small and powerful and easy to ride in my city. That's why I made my decision and bought a new bike. The bike I bought is, I won't tell you, I'll show it to you. So this is my new bike guys, KTM Duke 390 2018 edition. So why I bought this bike is, initially I wanted to go with BMW's G310R, that newly launched BMW's bike. But the thing is, there was no BMW bike showroom in Hyderabad. The nearest BMW showroom was somewhere in Pune or Bangalore. And even if I managed to get that bike from over there, it would be nearly impossible for me to every time go there for servicing. That's why I just dropped from that bike. And the second bike that got the highest votes from you guys was the Duke 390. I already had the Duke 200 from the past 4 years and that was really good bike, I had no issues till now. That's why I thought why not let's go check out the Duke 390. And once after taking a test drive of this bike, I just fell in love with this bike. This thing is amazing guys. So let's just have a closer look at the bike and talk about its design and features. So here is my brand new Duke 390. Looks awesome right? It comes in two colors, orange and white. I love the white color, that's why I went with this variant. And I have to tell, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a naked street bike and looks like the little brother of Super Duke 1290R. It's got very aggressive looks and love the Duke 390 logo on the petrol tank shrouds. Talking about the build quality, the build quality is excellent. This bike is very well built. It has a steel talus frame and the petrol tank is also made of metal. You've got a small Duke sticker over here and above that there's a fuel tank lid. The Duke 390 has a fuel tank capacity of 13.5 litres. This is where the ignition key is located. It has lock, off and on positions. And coming to the handlebar, the handlebar is made of metal, feels super high quality and is really wide when you hold it. Let me show you how it looks from the front. The best part about this bike is this headlamp. It has a stylish bifurcated all LED headlamp. We'll talk about that in detail later. First let me show you the front mudguard and the tyre. This bike comes with dual channel ABS and has a big 320mm disc brake on the front. Both the tyres are tubeless and have beautiful orange alloy wheels. Now coming to the engine, the Duke 390 has a single cylinder 4 stroke engine with a displacement of 373.2cc. It can produce a max power of 42.9 bhp at 9000 rpm. The engine is also liquid cooled and has a good sized radiator over here. It's quite bigger than the one on Duke 200. It comes pre-fitted with crash guards and over here you have the brake lever and the foot pegs. This is for the main rider and the pillion rider foot pegs are placed just behind that. The 2018 Duke 390 weighs about 163 kgs and has a ground clearance of 185mm which is perfect for city riding. There's a WP mono shock at the rear that's also adjustable as per your needs and on the front you've got 43mm upside down forks from WP. The suspensions on this bike are really good and gives you best possible riding experience. Let me also show you how the bike looks from the other side. Beautiful right? You've got the gear lever over here. It's got a 6 speed gearbox, that too with a slipper clutch. And from here you can see the chain drive mechanism. Above that there's a mini sari guard that comes prefitted only on the Indian models and this is how the bike looks from the rear. It's got an LED tail lamp that extends all the way till here and has left and right indicators on the sides. The rear part looks pretty awesome with the 390 stickering under the body. And this is the bike's exhaust. It has a black and silver angular design. So that was our overview on the design and the build quality. Now let me show you how the instrument cluster looks on this bike. The Duke 390 has an all new 5 inch TFT digital color display that can show you a lot of info which is not possible by the other bikes in its class. So as soon as you turn on the ignition key, it shows you ready to race on the display. And this is how beautiful the display on it looks like. It shows a lot of stuff on the display, like right now it's saying that the side stand of the bike is down. Below that you've got the trip info, date, odometer, live battery voltage, now this is very useful for me. It also tells you about the fuel range, your mobile phone signal and battery when you connect your phone to the bike. This bike has Bluetooth to pair with your phone. Over here you've got the tachometer, speedometer, gear indicator, fuel level and heat indicator. Apart from the display, it also has other indicators like neutral, ABS, low fuel indicator and a lot more. It's a feature rich digital console. 
You can also interact with the menu with these buttons on the left handlebar. You've got four buttons here, up and down navigating buttons, return and the select buttons. Let me show you the menu on this bike. So this is how the menu on this bike looks like. You've got a lot of settings. By installing KTM My Ride app on your phone, you can enable features like call notifications, get music controls on your bike, access your contacts, and a lot more. For that, you need to first pair your phone with the bike using Bluetooth. This is the info tab where you can access general info, trip 1 and 2 info, and the warnings info. In the motorcycle tab, you can change the ABS mode from road to supermoto, or even completely turn off ABS. And in the settings, you can set your favorites and quick select the settings. And finally, you have preferences, where you can toggle the Bluetooth, shift light, adjust date and time, DRL settings, units, language, and some other general settings. So that was our complete look at the Duke 390's beautiful TFT color display. Now let me show you all the buttons and controls on the handlebar. On the left side, you've got these four menu navigating buttons to navigate through the menu on the display. The quality of the buttons is also nice. Below that, you have the indicator switch, a horn button, and at the extreme top over here, you have a switch to toggle between high beam and low beam on the headlamp. So that was about the left handle. On the right side, you got a kill switch to turn the engine on or off and an electric start button. So those were all the buttons and controls on the bike. Now let's check out the headlamp. The headlamp on this bike looks absolutely beautiful. It's got a bifurcated design that looks like an insect head. And as soon as you turn the ignition key on, the DRL LEDs light up. It's got an all LED headlamp with six chambers and they also turn on automatically depending on the ambient lighting. The sensors are placed on the digital console. Let me turn on the headlamp and show you how it looks like. Pretty awesome, right? They're bright and have a really long range. Now let me start the bike and show you how it sounds like. So that is how the new Duke 390 sounds like. Now let's go out, take a ride on the bike and see how it performs. Alright guys, so me, my dad and my uncle went for a long drive on our bikes. We went for about 200 kilometers to the outskirts to see how the Duke 390 feels while riding. So first let's talk about the comfort. This bike offers great comfort while driving. The riding posture is also perfect and not at all tiring even for long drives. I had the Duke 200 initially and compared to that, the seats on the 390 are a bit soft, big and much more comfortable. The suspensions were also very good. Not too hard, not too soft, I felt they were great. The TFT display is also quite bright. It is easily visible even in bright lighting conditions. And also the display themes and the font size change based on the ambient lighting and speed. Coming to the performance, it has a single cylinder 4 stroke engine with a displacement of 373.2 cc and can produce a max BHP of 42.9 at 9000 rpm. It's quite powerful and has excellent acceleration with a maximum torque of 37 Nm at 7000 rpm. The Duke 390 can touch from 0 to 100 kmph in just 5.6 seconds with the top speed being 167 kmph. The bike was very smooth even at high speeds like 100 to 120 kmph. I could easily touch that mark without any sweat. This naked street bike has the highest power to weight ratio in its class. It is so much fun to ride this bike guys, I enjoyed every moment with it. No matter you drive in cities, outskirts or even highways, it offers you an ultimate experience. It is lightweight, powerful and very easy to ride. Taking corners is like a breeze with this bike. The Duke 390 also has ride-by-wire technology. That brings a huge difference. Generally in the other bikes, there's a mechanical link between the accelerator and the throttle. But in ride-by-wire system, there's no mechanical link in between them, which enhances the engine efficiency and ensures precise control of fuel-air mixture going in the engine. You can immediately feel that difference when you ride this bike. And also it comes with slipper clutch. The clutch is very nice and really soft guys. I've seen a lot of bikes including expensive sports bikes but never saw a bike with this soft clutch. There is literally like no strain at all on your hand while driving this bike. And talking about the brakes, the brakes are also very good. It's got dual channel ABS braking, that too customizable with three different modes. On the front, we get a 320mm big disc brake and a 230mm disc on the rear. The brakes are good and very responsive. 
and I also like the Metzler tires that you get on this bike. Coming to the mileage of this bike, I was getting around 25 kmpl in the city and around 30 kmpl on highways. On the overall, it's a really fun to ride bike and is suitable for most kinds of situations. I love the look of this bike, it has great power and is also very easy to drive. But there are a few things that I didn't like about this bike and felt the company should definitely try to improve them. The first thing is I don't like the mirrors on it. I felt they have a cheap look. Duke 390 is like the top end premium bike from KTM. I felt they should have provided better quality mirrors to match the rest of the design. The second is I was not that satisfied with the exhaust. I felt the build quality and the sound of the exhaust could have been improved. They are no doubt good but could have been better. The third is the connectivity features of the digital console work very well with iPhone but on Android phones few of the features like call notifications were not working. And the final thing is radiator fan noise. It's not that audible while riding the bike but you'll definitely notice the fan sound when you stop near the traffic signals. It's not anything big but would have been nice if it was silent. So that was my review on the new KTM Duke 390. I just love this bike and feel it's great for city riding. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.